Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I've come to Wilmslow, very affluent area in Cheshire. Uh, as Charlie Veach says, it's part of the uh, Cheshire Triangle. There's Wilmslow, Alderley Edge, and Presbury, all very wealthy areas. You see this building here, with all this lovely architecture, it's actually a Sainsbury's. Now, I used to work here many, many, many years ago when the store first opened, and all this was glass. So you can see into the store. Now it's, um, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> the Wilmslow Hospital.co.uk. Oh dear, nice camera. Right, let's get into the heart of the place. Bang and Olufsen. Now they will be hugely expensive. Let's go to the heart of the village and have a little look. The town? I don't know. Have a little look at this. CP Heart. Bathrooms. How? How incredibly posh is this? Now personally I prefer the shower. And that bath is not very big. I don't think that's very big at all. Maybe it's a sink. <laughs> there are beautiful fixtures and fittings in there. What a gorgeous place. As I said, very affluent area. There's a place up ahead here, Hooper's, which used to be Finnegan's. When I was working at Sainsbury's, behind me, this place up here was Finnegan's. I used to go up there for a coffee on the top floor. Now, it did have a bar, but we weren't allowed to drink, obviously, because we were working but we did <laughs> Jordan Fishwick and this everybody is Hooper's you say that was once Finnegan's now it's Hooper's we do have a cinema uh, here in Wilmslow I think it's called the Rex I'm not too sure but I'm sure it's the Rex Hooper's is nice Emerson Court. Buildings are very nice, very nice. The Pie Master is naturally with me. I'm using my external mic again. I just hope to God it doesn't drop off like it did when I was in Lim. I lost half the audio to my video. Take a look at the hoopers. Wow. Very posh, as you'd expect in Wilmslow. Nice cafe culture in Wilmslow, as we're going to see when we get into the uh, the main drag, which is now pedestrianised. Lots of little cafes, it's very nice in the summer. You can sit outside and enjoy a coffee. Relatively new building, that it's not old. A little bit of mock Tudor there, and uh, a noisy wagon. Great, let's carry on. Let's get further in and take a better look. At Wilmslow. There's the pie master. <laughs> here we are outside the Rex, the Rex Cinema. Now this has been here a long, long, long time. Uh, never frequented the place myself, but it's still open. Looks like they have shows here. Matilda's showing shortly. And sorry we're closed. <laughs> It is open though, but not today. Okay, I'm now going to head over into down there and the pedestrianised part of Wilmslow because I am looking for and I will find it and I will show you one of the loveliest car sales places I've ever seen because all they sell is Aston Martins and apparently they sell more Aston Martins than any other garage in the country. People keep looking at me very strangely like, oh, he's got a camera. <laughs> okay, onward, onward we go. And the pedestrianised bit. At least they've got a few trees in here, it's not all concrete. Particularly uh, run-down buildings don't look very nice, those do they? But, Harrington and Haworth, expensive. 
watches and jewellery. Now, say when I worked in Wilms though a long, a long time ago, I was probably about 19, 20, and I used to frequent the uh, centre here. And like most town centres, it was busy, very, very busy. Now they just don't seem to be. I think people have an awful habit now of going to huge retail parks where you can just park up and go straight into the shop you want and not have a look round. Auntie Annie's, oh, pretzels, coffee, gelato, lemonade, pizzas, hot dogs, and shakes. Looks very nice, that. Uh, doesn't have there, but the store looks nice itself. What do you think? An arcade, good God. <laughs> Retail unit to let. I very much doubt there's anything in the arcade. Everything seems to be uh, closed nowadays. For Wilmslow, not very posh, does it? Defibrillator, it's always nice to see. Just an advertisement hoard. A little mobile phone shop, not particularly nice, is it? As you can see, a lot of retail units to let. But uh, people aren't using the high street anymore, so. Consequently, businesses are closing down. The only things open are supermarkets, big supermarkets. And little hardware stores like this, which are fantastic. I love shops like this. Love them to bits. Anything you need, anything you want, you'll find in a little place like this. Tesco Express. That'll be busy. Mm, yeah, very, very quiet. Looks like a nice restaurant. We can smell pies, we can smell pies. Bar Ristorante Italiano. Very nice, that bus. I thought your bus nearly hit me. <laughs> I just gotta be more careful, I suppose. I must have on the pavement as well. What's that all about? Cibo, Cibo Restaurante. All them bottles of wine up there. They are Baz. Get a load of that. I bet you've been here. I bet you've been here. Mm. Bins open like that. I think that so that's people can see what's inside. They don't go reaching through it. As you can see, it's just cardboard. Okay. Let's continue further on in. Cafe Nero. Hmm. Tiki Tika, original traditional Turkish barber. How many Turkish barbers are there in city centres nowadays? Or town centres? Loads of them. That just about concludes the pedestrianised part of Wilmslow. Unlike many, many town centres now. It's depressing. Even in Wilmslow. It's just depressing. So I'm going to bright myself up by going and seeing some properties, Range Rovers, stuff like that, which you'll find a lot of here. <laughs> there was a waitress somewhere, I don't know where it is, but... Down there, I think. That was quite a fantastic building. No idea what it is. We'll get there and find out. Now it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. I'm going to carry on. I won't let the rain stop me. No. And what would any city or town be without a totally wicked vape? How's that for a post office? Wow. Look at this house next to it. Cedar Bank House. As you can see, very affluent. If you head down this little street, you'll see a lot of uh, Range Rovers, posh cars, big houses, beautiful places. Having work done to it. 
I think these are quite small. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Something else, isn't it? Even your veterinary surgeon looks inviting. Semi detached. Beauty. And this is just round the corner from the pedestrianised walkway of Wilmslow's, the heart of Wilmslow. And look at the properties. As expected, Range Rovers, Mercedes. Wow, look at that. Cost wise, probably running into a million or so, maybe more. It's the price you have to pay for living in Wills, though. I want to go and find the car garage I want to show everybody because it's quite spectacular. Chat bears look at these, doesn't know what I'm doing. It's quite obvious what I'm doing, isn't it? Where's Pine Master go? Oh, he's behind me. Oh, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. <laughs> and the non pedestrianised bit, we've got Patek Philippe, Geneve, Preston's. Obviously, a jewellery shop, and I know it's going to be expensive because right next door, Rolex. Rolex. What you'd expect in Wilmslow. Uh, exhibition only watches, no prices, no prices. They'll save that fright when you get inside. Caroline Charles, Springfield House, Norton Barry. I wonder if they're residential dwellings up there or offices, whatever. They look nice, they look nice. Hilary and Meredith, Pie Master. Now these watches will be more up there. Uh, our budget. <laughs> I mean, they all tell the time at the end of the day. So, what the big attraction is to Rolex watches, apart from saying I've got lots of money, I just tell the time like every other watch I've ever had. Yeah. Don't like pies in Wilms though. We've not found a pie shop yet. There was a little bakery I'm down one of the back streets, but. They didn't sell pies. You don't sell pies, you're not a bakery. Sorry about the noise, traffic everywhere. But down here is where solicitors, posh office. It's where the Aston Martin garage is. I've got to go and film some cars. A bit of car porn for my watches. Oh, there's one to let. Venture House. Smoke. That's a sort of cafe bar, restaurant. A nice little seating area upstairs. Just got my foot wet. Just stepped through. A bloody great puddle. Never mind. Onward. Onward. Ooh. Bentley. Porsche. Huge Audi. What? These are the cars you expect in Wilmslow. Just going to risk life and limb getting across the road because I'm now outside the Aston Martin garage. Why don't you see these? What am I doing there? Now then. Oh, here it is. Just get a load of these cars. Get a load of these cars. Wow. Oh my word, look at these. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Wow. Incredible. Look at the size of the wheels on that. Absolutely beautiful. 
Do you like cars? I do. I've only got a Honda, but see something like this? Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Any price in the window? I don't think there is. There are some more around the corner, which we're going to have a look at. And in the showroom itself. Oh my word. <laughs> Oh God, look at that DBS. Oh, sorry about the flickering, it's because there's uh, artificial light in there. Oh my, oh my. Wow. Beautiful cars. Customer parking. That's a customer's car. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, good. This is the stuff dreams are made of. <laughs> oh, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm a YouTuber, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put all this on YouTube later. Oh look at this baby. Ooh. Hello. Oh, Look at the interior on that. <laughs> Heavens. Everybody really signal I can never afford anything like this, but just to come and look at them will have to suffice. It's a shame. Aston Martin. King of cars. King of cars. And then we have the co-op. By contrast, co-op. Okay. And now, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's been nice to walk around uh, Wilmslow. I hope you've enjoyed the tour as well. See what it's like. How affluent it is. The beautiful cars, no pies, less no pies. But uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you again shortly on the next one, which will be when I do the next one. So take care all. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and take care. We'll finish with the co-op. <laughs>